processor classification. Instruction set architecture ISA plays an important role in the design and functioning of a processor. The microprocessors are classified as either CISC complex instruction set computer or RISC reduced instruction set computer. Both CISC and RISC have different design strategies. MIPS, MIPS, SPARC, PowerPC and Alpha AXP is a RISC ISA. Design strategies are fixed instruction length, few instruction formats, load store architecture. Intel's x86 family, Motorola 6800 are CISC having complex instruction sets, meaning that it has a very rich and different set of commands to accomplish different tasks and has very complex instructions such as power, square root, etc. Characteristics of CISC processor Complex instruction set computer Too many instructions and addressing more More than 100 Variable length instructions 1 byte to several bytes Example in 8386 instruction length varies from 1 byte to 17 bytes Most instructions are executed with microcode Microcode typically resides in special high speed memory and translates machine instructions state machine or other input into sequence of detailed circuit level operations most instruction take multiple clock cycles to execute small internal register set less than 32 cisc uses more transistors example pentium 4 cisc has approx 55 million transistors Characteristics of RISC processor Relatively few instructions Relatively few addressing modes Memory access limited to load and store instruction All operations done within the registers of the CPU Relatively large number of registers in the processing unit Fixed length Easily decoded instruction format Single cycle instruction execution hardwired rather than micro code program control efficient instruction pipeline compilers support for efficient translation of high level language program into machine language program classifying instruction set architecture isa An instruction acts on any number of operands. The way an instruction accesses its operands is called its addressing modes. Memory, RAM is the main component of a computer to store temporary data and machine instructions. In a program, programmers many times need to read from and write into memory location. Register memory, memory addressing modes. Example, direct addressing mode is one of the memory addressing mode in 8086 architecture. Instruction like move ALD, comma, DS, colon, 8088H. Load the AL register with a copy of the byte at memory location 8088H. Register register or load store architecture. This means that the only operation that interact with memory are load and store. Load. To load a value from memory, you copy the data from memory into a register. Store. To store a value to memory, you copy the data from a register to memory. CISC ISAs often have other kinds of instruction that interact with memory. For example, 
there may be an instruction that adds the content of the register to the contents at memory addresses and store that in a register. These kinds of instructions do not appear in most RISC ISAs. Role of compilers in RISC and CISC Multiplying two numbers in memory. The main memory is divided into locations numbered from row 1, comma, column 1 or row 6, comma, column 4. The execution unit is responsible for carrying out all computations. However, the execution unit can only operate on data that has been loaded into one of the six registers A, B, C, D, E or F. Let's say we want to find the product of two numbers. One stored in location 2 colon 3 and another stored in location 5 colon 2 and then store the product back in the location 2 colon 3. CISC approach. The primary goal of CISC architecture is to complete a task in as few lines of assembly as possible. This is achieved by building processor hardware that is capable of understanding and executing a series of operations. For this particular task, a sys processor would come prepared with a specific instruction, say MUL, MUL. Following steps would be performed by CISC. First, when executed, this instruction loads two values into separate registers, multiply the operands in the execution unit and then stores the product in the appropriate register. Second, thus, the entire task of multiplying two numbers can be completed with one instruction, mul 2 colon 3 comma 5 colon 2. Third, mul is what known as complex instruction. Four, it operates directly on the computer's memory bank and does not require the programmer to explicitly call any loading or storing functions. Five, it closely resembles a command in a high level language. For instance, if we let a represent the value of 2 colon 3 and B represents the value of 5 colon 2, then this command is identical to the C statement A equal to A into B. Advantage One of the primary advantage of this system is that the compiler has to do very little work to translate a high level language statement into assembly. Because the length of the code is relatively short, very little RAM is required to store instructions. The emphasis is put on building complex instructions directly into hardware. Risk approach. The risk approach only uses simple instructions that can be executed within one clock cycles. Thus, the MUL mul, command described above could be divided into three separate commands. Load, which moves data from the memory bank to register. Prod, P-R-O-D, which finds the product of two operands located within the registers. Store, which moves data from a register to the memory banks. Advantage of risk, however, the risk strategy also brings some very important advantages. Because each instructions require only one clock cycle to execute, the entire program will execute in approximately the same amount of time as the multiply cycle mul command. 
This risk reduce instructions requires less transistors of hardware space than the complex instruction, leaving more room for general purpose registers because all of the instructions executed in a uniform amount of time that is one clock table summarizes between CISC versus RISC. CISC approach attempts to minimize the number of instructions per program sacrificing the number of cycles per instruction. RISC approach RISC does the opposite, reducing the cycles per instruction at the cost of the number of instructions per program. Improving CPU performance. The CPU normally runs at very high frequency, but the memory and I.O. devices are not as fast as the CPU. Whenever the CPU wants to access the memory or the I.O. devices, it has to slow down to the speed of that device. For example, if the CPU is running at 1 GHz and the I.O. devices at 100 MHz, the CPU will have to reduce its speed from 1 GHz to 100 MHz. This slowing of the CPU will reduce the performance. Several techniques are employed for increasing the CPU performance. Pipeline, cache memory, superscalar architecture, coprocessor. Pipeline. Without a pipeline, a computer processor gets the first instruction from memory, performs the operation it calls for, and then goes to get the next instruction from the memory, and so forth. While fetching the instruction, the arithmetic part of the processor is idle. It must wait until it gets the next instruction. With pipelining, the computer architecture allows the next instruction to be fetched while the processor is performing arithmetic operations, holding them in a buffer close to the processor until each instruction operations can be performed. The staging of instruction fetching is continuous. The result is an increase in the number of instructions that can be performed during a given time period. Note, it is important that operation time of each pipeline stage is almost identical, since the rate at which instruction flow through the pipeline is limited. Pipeline stages. As we can see, when one instruction is being executed, the next instruction is being decoded and the next to next instruction is being fetched. At any point of time, the fetch, decode and execute stages are always occupied. As the instructions are processed parallel, time taken to execute a program reduces. The time taken to process every instruction still remains the same. The analogy of a pipeline is washing dish. One man washes a plate, one man rinses the plate previously washed and a third man dries the plate previously rinsed all at the same time. Once a man is finished, he passes his item to the next person in line. Each man stays busy doing his task until all the dishes are done. Optimal working of pipeline and ORR, EOR and BIC are instructions for logical AND, OR, exclusive OR and bit clear. All operations here are on registers single cycle execution. In this example, it takes 6 clock cycles to execute 6 instructions. Clock cycles per instruction CPI equals to 1. 
let the instruction pointer by program counter is fetched in the ith clock cycle simultaneously at the end of the of that clock cycle pc is incremented to point the next instruction in the i plus one clock cycle the instruction is in d pipeline stage here the register values that will be used in e stage are accessed from register files in the next clock cycle that is i plus 2 the instruction is in e stage and required operation in the alu is performed what happens if branch instruction enters pipeline branch instructions can reduce the performance of the pipelines by interrupting the steady flow of instructions into the pipeline to execute a branch instruction the processor must decide whether the branch is taken calculate the branches destination address calculating branch destination address and checking branch condition may be conducted in parallel but the destination instruction can be fetched only after calculating the destination address branch hurt performance because these tasks cannot be performed in one clock cycle there are some techniques for reducing branch penalty like delayed branch static branch predictors dynamic branch predictors two level adaptive branch predictors instruction trace caches and so on the research continues if the prediction is correct there is no penalty but if prediction is incorrect there is a penalty of one clock cycle you can see from the diagram that an add sub and move instruction presents no problem for a pipeline architecture since there is nothing present that would cause an instruction to stall or force the processor to wait for it to complete however a bl instruction branch and link instruction saves the return address into link register in arm architecture or any other branch type of branch will cause the entire pipeline to be flushed a branch instruction tells the machine to start fetching new instruction from a different memory address diagram shows in cycle 1 bl has entered the execute stage of the pipeline and two instructions have already been fetched one from address 0x8004 and another from 0x8008 since the branch says to begin fetching new instruction from address 0x8fec those unsaved instructions must be flushed away consider what would happen in a very deep pipeline say 24 stages a branch that is not handled correctly could force the processor to abandon significant amount of work cache memory local high speed memory to provide a primary pool of reusable instructions and data accessed more frequently by the processor this saves time otherwise wasted on fetching instructions and data from memory benefits of cache improves with cache size cpu at 400 megahertz main memory at 10 megahertz and the bus speed of 66 megahertz system performance is lowered due to slow bus and memory regardless of high speed cpu the performance is improved by accompanying cpu with a high speed cache memory to store frequently access instruction or data superscalar operation the key to superscalar execution is instruction fetching unit that can fetch more than one instruction at a time from cache 
instruction decoding logic that can decide when instructions are independent and thus executed simultaneously and sufficient execution units to be able to process several instructions at one time. Note that the execution units may be pipelined. Example, they may be floating point address or multipliers in which case the cycle time for each stage matches the cycle times on the fetching and decoding logic. Therefore, there are three major subsystems in the processor, the instruction fetch unit an integer processor and an floating point processor. The instruction fetch unit is a two-stage pipeline. During the first stage, a packet of four instruction is fetched from a instruction cache. And in the second stage, instructions are routed to the integer processor and or floating point processor. IBM Power Series, IBM uh, RS6000, uh, Itanium, Niagara are examples of superscalar. Microcontroller By product of microprocessor development was microcontroller. Microcontroller is responsible for all the video games, elevators, toys, washers, VCRs, automobiles, microwaves and all other articles that are intelligent and programmable. Extremely popular microcontroller core made by many independent manufacturers including AMD, TI, Atmel, Delas, Intel, Motorola, Hitachi, Philips, Toshiba, Microchip and Siemens. There are some sensors acts as inputs. Human interaction and set of actuators as output that must respond to the requirements of the system. One set of sensors relates to the door lock and another to the window. There are two actuators, the window motor and the lock actuators. Central locking can be introduced or alarm sound if the door is not locked when the driver tries to. Block diagram of a microcontroller. A microcontroller apart from the components shown usually included but not limited to serial communication capabilities, interrupt controls and analog I.O. capabilities. The figure shows the basic layout of a general microcontroller. Processor The processor refers to the central processing unit CPU, of the microcontroller. It contains the arithmetic logic unit ALU, control unit, instruction decoder and some special registers, stack pointer, status register, program counter, etc. Volatile memory this is memory used by the microcontroller for temporary data storage, system setup and peripheral configurations. Memory in this category includes SRAM and DRAM. Non-volatile memory. This is memory used by the microcontroller to store programs. Data can also be stored in this memory but the access time is much slower than that of RAM. Memory in this category includes ROM, PROM, EEPROM, E2PROM and FLASH. Timer Module Most microcontrollers have at least one timer counter peripheral. Timer counter modules are used to perform timing or counting operations in the controller. This includes time stamping, measuring intervals, counting events, etc. Interrupt modules. Interrupt enable the microcontroller to monitor certain events in the background while executing application program and react to the event if necessary, pausing the original program. This is all coordinated by the interrupt module. 
digital I.O. module. This module allows digital logic communication with the microcontroller and the external world. Communication signals are that of TTL, transistor, transistor logic or CMOS, complementary metal oxide semiconductor logic. Analog input output modules. These modules are used to input output analog information from to the external world. Analog modules include analog comparators and analog to digital converters. Serial modules. These modules are used for serial communication with the external world. An example is USART peripheral which utilizes the RS-232 standards. Types of microcontrollers. Microcontrollers can be classified on the basis of internal bus width, architecture, memory and instruction set. Figure shows the various types of microcontrollers. 4, 8, 16 and 32 bit microcontrollers. 8-bit microcontrollers when the ALU performs arithmetic and logical operation on byte 8 bits at an instruction. The microcontroller is said to be 8-bit microcontroller. The internal bus width of 8-bit microcontroller is of 8 bits. Example of 8-bit microcontrollers are Intel 8051 family and Motorola MC68HC11 family. 16-bit microcontroller. When the ALU performs arithmetic and logical operation on a word 16 bits at an instruction, the microcontroller is said to be 16 bit microcontroller. The internal bus width of 16 bit microcontroller is of 16 bit. Examples of 16 bit microcontrollers are Intel 1896 family and Motorola MC68HC12 and MC68332 families. MSP430 from TI. The performance and computing capability of 16-bit microcontrollers are enhanced with a greater precision as compared to the 8-bit microcontrollers. 32-bit microcontroller when the ALU performs arithmetic and logical operations on a double word 32 bits at an instruction. The microcontroller is said to be 32-bit microcontroller. The internal bus width of 32-bit microcontroller is of 32-bit. Example of 32-bit microcontrollers are Intel 18960 family and Motorola M683XX and Intel Atmel 251 family, ARM Cortex-M family. The performance and computing capability of 32-bit microcontrollers are enhanced with greater precision as compared to the 16-bit microcontroller. Embedded microcontrollers are when the embedded system has a microcontroller unit that has all the functional blocks including program as well as data memory available on a chip is, co is called an embedded microcontroller. For example, 8051 having program and data memory, I.O. ports, serial communication, counter and timers and interrupt controller logic on the chip is an embedded microcontroller. External memory microcontrollers when an embedded system has a microcontroller unit that does not have all the functional blocks available on a chip is called an external memory microcontroller. In external memory microcontrollers, all or part of the memory units are externally interfaced using an interfacing circuit called glue circuit. For example, 8031 has a program memory on the chip is an external micro memory. Application of microcontrollers, transportation, car, bus, track, trains, aircraft, communications, mobile hub switches, buildings, access control, smoke sensors, CCTV, office systems and mobile equipments, fax, photocopying machine, banking, finance and commercial, ATM, card swiping machines, medical diagnostic monitoring and life support, ECG, X-ray, MRI, environmental monitoring equipment, wind speed, temperature, pollution monitoring, Manufacturing and Process Control, 
bottling plant, textile mill, car manufacturing plant, etc. Benefits of microcontrollers Cost, size and weight, simple application, reliability, speed. Major manufacturers of microcontrollers include Atmel Corporation, manufacturers of popular AVR series of microcontrollers. Microchip Technology Inc. Manufacturers of the PIC series of microcontrollers. Texas Instruments, one of the largest semiconductor companies. MSP430, TIVA, ARM Cortex M based microcontrollers. Renesas Technology, a joint merger of Hitachi and Mitsubishi product line. Microprocessor versus microcontroller. A microcontroller is basically a computer on a chip. It differs from normal desktop or laptop computers in that a microcontroller is an application specific computer that usually runs a single program performing dedicated tasks while the later two are general purpose computers that can run numerous programs depending on a user's needs. A microcontroller contains on-chip CPU, input, output, interface, memory, clock, timers and an assortment of other peripherals. A microprocessor on the other hand is just a CPU. One has to add externally memory, clock, input, output, interface, timer and all other needed peripherals. This is the reason a microprocessor has so many pins. The general outline of the main criteria in selecting a microcontroller. First, suitability of the application system. For example, can it be done with a single chip MCU or at least a few additional chips? Does it have the required number of I.O. input output pins ports? For example, too few implies can't do the job and too many implies excessive cost. Does it have all the other required peripherals such as serial I.O., random access memory, read-only memory, analog to digital, digital to analog converters, etc. Does it have the other peripherals that not needed? Does the CPU core have the correct throughput? For example, computer power to handle the system requirement over the life of the system for the chosen implementation language. Too much is wasteful and too little will never work. Is the MCU affordable? Does the project budget allocate enough funds to use MCU? If the MCU is not affordable, the project, all the other questions become irrelevant and you must start looking for another MCU. Second, availability. Is the device available in sufficient quantities? Is the device in production today? What about the future? Third, is development support available? Assemblers, compilers, debugging tools, EVM, evaluation module, in-circuit emulators, logic analyzer probes, debug monitors, source level debug monitors, online bulletin services, application examples, bug reports, utility software, including free assemblers, sample source code, application support, specific group who does nothing but application support, application engineers, technicians or marketers. How knowledgeable are the support personnel? Are they truly interested in helping you with your problem? 24 bar 7 telephone and or fax support. Manufacturer's history and track records. Demonstrated competence in design. Reliability of silicon. For example, manufacturing excellence. On-time delivery performance. Years in business. Financial report. 